we're making a little move now. And what I'm doing is just driving along the breakwater here. Uh, don't want to get too close. I want, want to get close enough so I have an idea the area I'll be fishing. So I can look on the meter right here and we can see the rocks coming up right below us. And there's some little fish, probably little rock fish and perch and stuff there. We want to see uh, some more fish uh, kind of swimming above the structure. So I'm just going to drive down here a little bit. Here we go, there's a little bit more fish here. Kelp coming up. So that gives me a better idea of what we're looking for. So I'm going to cruise this area a little bit. Some of the things I look for too, is look for birds. You see lots of birds in an area. The reason the birds are there is because there's a lot of bait fish. If there's bait fish, there's a good chance there'll be game fish to catch too. So just keep driving out here. We're seeing more and more rocks, more and more fish on the fish finder there. You see it's 32 feet of water, 33 feet of water. So what I would do is take the boat out to about 50, 60 feet, drop the anchor, scope it back, a couple of boat lengths, and be about this far from the breakwater, maybe a little bit farther out. There we go, first bite of the day. Fishing a uh, live squid on here. Hopefully it's a bass, see what it is. Went nice and easy. Here it comes. It is a rockfish. Legal rockfish. Yeah, yeah, nice rockfish. See the whole squid and I got a long shank hook there. Nice quality fish. Steam this guy up, he'll be delicious. So what we're doing right now, we're anchored up along the breakwater. I like to fish the breakwater a lot. You, talk, you see me talk about that a lot about my private charters. But today we're out filming for the TV show and just fishing along the breakwater. To me, it's just a big man-made reef. And, and because it's a reef and has all these rocks, not along the breakwater, but also coming out, it attracts all kinds of fish, game fish, fish like calico bass, sand bass, and even rockfish. So we're gonna keep fishing here for a little bit. Just a spot that a lot of people pass up on their way out to other rocks and other reefs, but when you're in a small boat, even 30 foot boats considered a small boat, I think you can catch a lot of fish in spots like this. Barred sand bass can be found as far south as Magdalena Bay, Baja, California, and as far north in central California as Santa Cruz. They can be found on sandy bottoms and usually in depths from 60 to 90 feet. The current world record for a sand bass was caught in 1988 and weighed over 13 pounds. Getting bit. Here we go. Oh yeah. This was on a bucktail. Hopefully it's a bass, but let's see what we got here. Just winding it up nice and easy. It is an, a rockfish. Here's my fish. Nice rockfish. Got that on a bucktail with the whole squid. And this time I wasn't fishing right along the rocks. I was casting away from the rocks. Like I said earlier, the, the rocks come a long ways um, from the breakwater. You don't have to be right on top of it. We actually, look at my meter, we actually have rocks right below us. And this fish wanted this bucktail and the squid. He ate it. All right, well, there we go. All right, I'm gonna keep this guy, eat him later. All right, let's take a little break from the action. And uh, so far, it's uh, Clippers and Dodgers zero, Dan two. We'll take a little break from the action, and we'll go to Tackle Box and give you a good look at the gear that I'm using for today's trip.